Hello, good morning. This is Sharon from Everything Beautiful. So someone asked me to do a shawl jacket or shawl colored jacket. I think that's what she meant. But she also asked me about, um, you know, how many inches need to be there for allowance if you're putting the zipper in the front. Now, I must say to Melissa that you have to align the front with the back like this. All right. Okay, just like oh you if you're putting the zipper in the back, you do the same thing. And it all depends on the type of zipper you're putting in because I don't know if you'll be doing overlap or half and half or you'll be doing an exposed zipper. So if you have an overlap zipper and a um overlap or half and half zipper, what happens is that um the one inch will be okay you can cut up cut away the extra when you are through if you're using an exposed zipper okay you're gonna have to use a little less because you don't need that amount of material so you didn't really say what type of zipper you'll be using so um i hope i clear that up for you but whatever you do you need to align it with the center back just like you were putting in the zipper in the back okay so thank you for that and she asked me how to do a shawl collar. I know this is very challenging for most people and uh, most people feel a little bit intimidated and wonder how did they do that? I can't do that. I want to do that. Well, it's not that bad. It's not that difficult. Um, there are three major uh, measurements that you need to bear in mind. And so I'll just walk you through the steps. I have everything ready here I'm going in town I can't be here for a long time so let me quickly do this with you first thing you want to draw off the back of your pattern you want to put in the dart and everything okay then you're going to place it on the front of the pattern now, I'm just using fabric you know I, I didn't want to make pattern so I'm just using the fabric all right so here I have the allowance for the um, for the front. So this is where you put your buttons, and um, we'll be making the color big as I tell you um, or told you in a previous video that there are different types of colors. So this is one. This is a short color, and I'll leave this extra here for that extension. So this is actually the allowance for the button, and right there is actually called the decollet. So um, I've also marked off my, um, as I said, you draft the front pattern from the back pattern. So I have everything here ready. Another thing is that you have to decide um, how deep you want your color to be. You can start from the waist, 15 inches, 10 inches, 12 inches. It all depends on you. So this is it. It's not that difficult. And as I said, there are three major measurements that you are going to be using. So I'm going to remove this and uh, just put a mark there to indicate where my center is. So this is it. So first thing you're going to, another thing you're going to do, bear in mind the, allow, the, the neckline here is three inches. Three, three, three and a half inches, as I told you before, it all depends on the size of the person that changes the neckline. But the basic is between three to three and a half. So we'll be using three today. And this is very important. And you will see why very soon. So um, from here, okay, right at the corner there of the neck, the highest point, I'm going to line it up here. And you can decide how deep you want the color so here it is down to the waist and as i said it can be 10 it can be 12 you can decide so i'm going to draw a straight line here to connect yes yeah, so as i was saying you'll draw a straight line from the neckline down to the waist but you will actually um extend it over into the allowance for the front so that is the line okay and remember this is for our buttons okay so you extend the line over to the front there another thing 
one of the main okay so you extend the line over to the front and from here to the top you're going to measure three inches all right so you stay true to the corner here that is going to give you the shape at the back of the collar and that's how the neck is and so you want to stay true to that okay so draw a straight line from the waist up straight along then from here three inches as i told you before there are three main um measurement that you need to focus on whenever you're doing this color so we have gone through with the three inches already with the extension from here to here the other one is half inch from here to here and so i'll measure it half inch hope you're seeing half inch from here here that half inch now you'll use it to connect to the corner again of the dark and that half inch is very very important all right so that is it